optimize solutions today. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Stellaris and, of course, to Ferracorp. Where in the last episode, we began to expand out a little bit and met our first actual other alien faction. And uh, I've already decided that we're going to be getting a branch office as soon as we can, because why not? That's one of the main things that you get to do as a megacorp um, empire. So uh, we will be aiming for that, and just to refresh our memory on how much it's going to cost, because it is going to be a rather expensive thing to do. It'll get us 12 trade value. As the, the planet gets more trade value, that will get better. It's going to cost us an awful lot of money, and it'll only generate seven. Urgh. Be a bit of a pain, but over time it'll get better. We can certainly do things that will... Uh, actually, no, it'll cost us 1,900. The base is 1,000, but uh, because it's so far away, it's going to cost us even more. But uh, over time, we'll be able to do funky things that will help uh, develop that, that area. Maybe make them happier with us, maybe make them not happier with us. It really does depend a bit. But we're also expanding out to get our first new colony. Now then, the Freedom Group, pretty happy with us right now, so we're getting a little bit of extra influence, which is good, because we really do quite badly need it. Uh, in terms of research, we're doing alright, I would say. It could be a lot better, let's be perfectly honest. We've got a planet over here. What kind of planet are you, Sismac one Tell me about yourself. Uh, only a 15%, but you are a continental world, which, you know, wouldn't be too bad. You've got no particularly good features, so I'm not sure about that one. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, Megacorps do seem to benefit from tall playstyles rather than wide playstyles when it comes to setting up your empire, so we may well aim for being much more picky about where we expand to, certainly at least insofar as colonies, perhaps even in, in our territory. Some of these places just aren't worth it. That, for example, if it weren't for the fact that colony is there that I might want to take, wouldn't be worth it. But these ones over here, yeah, they've got they've got things that I want. This one has got something I want. Generally, I'm going to give a very big plus to any system that could potentially d uh, give us some extra science. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of Ferracorp Free Traders, led by Director Siri. They call themselves the Alien Rights Group. They're members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with Amy. Ah, trust, trust Siri to be so friendly. Well done, Siri. You're doing me proud. You have learned well. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a quick look then. So, indirect xenology. Legislating a passive study stance on native interference will please the alien rights group. Okay, okay, that, that would be fairly good, because right now we're dropping approval because we don't have that. No purges. Um, it's not really affecting us right now. Uh, failing to outlaw the wholesale purging of species will greatly displease them. And Federated, joining a federation will please them. Well, we can't really do that right now. All refugees are welcome, and new content is generally passive. Uh, or rather, sorry, establishing connections. You know what? I'm okay with changing this one straight up. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more, more uh, influence, honestly. So let's go into our policies. Where are you? War philosophy. Right now, it's unrestricted wars, and I'm not going to change that. Uh, okay, I'm going to say sure. Passive study for now. Uh, we'll be stuck with this for 10 years, but it'll generally be uh, a decent one to have. That should help you out a little bit. There we go, right all the way up. Upscale. Uh, oh, actually, no, no. The um, the effect hasn't happened, but the overall amount of our population there has. Hmm. Oh, no, the approval. It has gone up. There we are. Oh, there we are. Perfect. No purges. I could I could outlaw purges. I mean, I don't particularly want to out, uh, to to purge anyone. So uh, they've got forty five faction support total forty five percent from ten citizens. Support represents the political strength of this faction. Support is increased by the amount of pops in the faction. Pops with full citizenship contribute far more than those without. Okay, well I think purges was also something I could change. Uh, perhaps I should have changed it already. So, purges, uh, let's see, where would you be? Uh, slavery, purge, well, it is prohibited. Uh, the purge is an atrocity and should always be treated as such. So, I've already got it prohibited though. Hmm. I don't quite understand why there's an issue there. Uh, Apostolo completed the construction of a starbase. Fantastic. You can now begin gathering things. Oh, we found a new anomaly, let's have a quick look. Very hard. It's going to take a long while for you to research this. What are your current orders? Okay, I'm going to add this to your orders at the end. 
because it's going to take such a long time for you to do that, I'd rather you finish surveying that entire system first. So I only held down shift this time, and if I have a look in here, yes, the last order that you're going to have is going to be to come back and check that out. I'd rather have the whole system surveyed before I do anything else. All right, technology, we have got, oh, fantastic. Society research is up. That is very, very nice. We could unlock hydroponics farms. I don't really particularly care for that right now. And although unlocking the Hyper Entertainment Forum would be great, it would offer us a lot of jobs for a very small footprint, I would need resources that I don't yet have to build it, so it's not as useful for me. The Offworld Trading co Company, though. Now, this does matter. The Offworld Trading Company, on a starbase which is particularly designed for trade, will produce extra trade value for each trade hub there. So if you've got a starbase that you've built primarily for trade, so it's mostly trade hubs, having one of these in it would be fantastic. Um, extra naval capacity from soldier jobs. Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, hydroponics farms. I don't think we really need them. Maybe. Uh, but I think we're going to go with the off-world trade companies for now. So let's get that one on the go. I think so. Right. As for you, could you please? I uh, can't build mining stations. You need a little bit more. Congratulations for that. on having colonized a new world. Hooray! Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement. Fantastic. But it will take time for them to become self sufficient. That's fine. Our colony ships have gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta on one of the several continents that can be found on Blue Rose Undertakings. This temperate, forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of a new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first void ferret city on an alien world. A great day for the Ferrocorp free traders, indeed. Indeed. But let's go and have a quick look at this. Now, those of you who are familiar with the way the game previously ran will know that when you established a new colony, it was a drain on your resources. It would have a, a negative to your energy outcome. Notice that that hasn't happened here. So we'll pop in there. Uh, climate, rocket world, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really is there for us to interact with. It doesn't actually affect us yet. I mean, it might do in time, but uh, for the time being, seems to be Okay. Uh, I kind of want some more Market ships, honestly. Identified. Uh, periodically spews an alarmingly electric mix of particles and radiation to the void. Future market uh, survey let's complete. Let's go and check that then. Mm. Have you finished with what you're doing? Yes, you have. Okay. Fair enough. Research the anomaly then for me. Thank you. Uh, you are not ready to build the mines there. I really do want that energy. That energy is going to be fantastic. So we're going to wait on that one. We've just got a few more months to go. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape, led by scientist Plumber Smack. They call themselves the Academy of Technocratic Reform. Hmm, okay. Advancements of sciences. I like the sound of this. Let's have a look at you then. Uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty good. Science Without Borders. Signing research treaties with at least three other empires will please the Academy of Technocratic Reform. Well, you know what? So far, so good. Everyone seems reasonably happy. Ah, thank, thank goodness. Quickly build this so I stop bleeding money. Ugh, so bad. We are going to need to set up some mining because right now everything is, is hurting a bit. Um, it isn't terrible right now, but it could be a lot better, let's be honest. Uh, right, we want to continue... Well, since we're out here, let's have a have a look around. Let's check this one out and then check that one out. If there is decent amounts of trade goods in these systems, then we're probably going to establish a trading post right here and hook up to this system. If not, then we'll just hook up these two systems and put the trading post there. We'll see how that goes. So I want to, to properly survey those areas first and foremost. How's our research going? Uh, it could be a lot better, I'll be honest. could be a lot better, but it, it's reasonable for the time being. There we go. Getting a little bit more energy. And oh, thank goodness. Ooh, that was that was rough for a while there. That was very rough. And no no mistake about that. Uh, right, science ship's currently working on their anomalies. It's going to take them a little while, I should imagine. And we are going to be waiting for a bit for Blue Rose Undertaker Upscaling to fully complete. complete. Ah, well done. Just in time. I would like to get some more science, if you would be so kind. We, there we go. 
Let's make sure we get all of the signs. We'll, we'll fully develop the areas we've got and only expand out if we absolutely need it. Ooh. Looking strong for us to get a station Special there. Project actualized. Void and clouded. The void clouds are, as far as void ferret researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter as we know it first appeared. The tremendous force of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answers might lie in the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together. Another product of their, their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of the strange stardust and gravitic fields aligned in a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communication, light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. They will not stand in our way, or truly humbling. Ooh, 10% more from physics research jobs? I like it. Void loops, yes. Let's get that and check on that modifier. The government screen presents us with information regarding our empire and its government. Here we can see our ruler and any related effects. Marvelous. Right, void loops. We gain more physics and expansionist overtures. Claim influence cost is down. How lovely. We could reform the government. We've got a, a lot of cohesion. Right, now, cohesion is, is a new mechanic as well. Basically, the more cohesive your territory, the higher your cohesion. Having low cohesion can lead to problems. So empire cohesion is a measure of the overall cohesiveness of the territory controlled by our empire. It is increased by each owned system and upgraded starbase and reduced by having a large number of ex uh, external hyperlane connections and having uh, isolated systems that we do not own inside our borders. If our cohesion loss is greater than our cohesion gain, our empire size will increase potentially resulting in penalties. So everything kind of ties into our empire size. And as a megacorp, we get big penalties if our empire size gets too big. The demographics tab tracks the makeup and spread of our empire's populace. Very well. 34 pops on two worlds. Happiness, we've got no particular benefits there. Advisor, uh, well, we're going to keep on the slick corporation because I like that one, honestly. Uh, we may change it later on. Let me know in the comments if you particularly like to see some of the other advisor voices. But uh, for now, I, I think this one, this one fits our theme a lot better. I am really, really strongly considering increasing our size, our fleet size. Yes, Duke Station, I want some more things here. Now, one thing I could do is I could build some defensive platforms. Uh, you know what? Let's let's design a defensive platform. Currently, we've only got this one. It's fairly fairly simple. Uh, but let's have a new defensive platform section. Mm, I could go for some missiles or two medium weapons. I right now the most likely thing we're gonna see is corvettes. So let's go for. Yeah, we will be going for. Well, no, I, I like to have a little bit of a mix. Perhaps I could have just a missile station and a gun station. That wouldn't be too bad, sure. Let's go all missiles on one and then uh, all guns on another. Uh, we don't need a reactor booster, not for this. I uh, will have all deflectors on one side, all armor on the other. With the amount of power that we're generating, is it going to really help us? Yeah, we're getting a 3% increase to our, our power. We're going to call this... Uh, let's see. Shall be the Izzy... Uh, missile defense. There we go. I think this will be perfect. Hopefully I've spelled defense correctly. I always have a, a, a difficulty with the C or the S version of that. Right, now we've got that. We can get rid of the regular one. And then we want another one. We're going to have another defense platform. And again, because we're largely just going to be seeing corvettes, I think there's no reason to go for anything bigger than, than small weapons. Now, the difference between our mass drivers and our lasers is lasers do less damage to shield, but more damage to armor. Uh, we could have a, a mixture of both, but I fancy... Honestly, I fancy that armor is going to be the bigger one right now. So I'm thinking of going more for lasers or... Well, no, we'll, we'll go with a balanced approach for the time being, I think. We will go... Half and half on shields and armor once again. There we are. And this one shall be called the Svizzle. 
Uh, let's fizzle laser defense. Uh, well, actually, it's kind of a mixture, but uh, smizzle, uh, smizzle small ship defense or something along those lines. Yeah, we'll go with that. It, it more or less says what I want it to do. So, Duke Station, I would like some of these. Now, in terms of their upkeep, what is their upkeep, if anything? I don't think it actually has anything. Uh, we'll have one of each. There we go. That's going to use up a large chunk of our alloys, but that's fine for now. Um, now, your piracy suppression is pretty good, honestly. I may even go for a new science ship, honestly. Mm, how much would it cost for me to get another leader? I think that's what it comes down to. If I wanted another leader... We've got someone who's good at computers. We do not have someone who's... Ooh, anomaly discovery chance. Okay, Gory, daughter of Vaki, you are hired. Let's get you set up properly. There we are. Gory, daughter of Vaki, no. You shall instead become... Girahim. There we are. And we need to get you a new ship. Uh, so let's get a new science ship out there as well. There we go. This should help out quite a lot. We can get some more searching done. This one is going Upscaling in an interesting direction. Complete. Ghost or black hole? I always like checking out black holes. Uh, Alright, perfect. You can Upscaling come along down complete. here now. Move it. Okay, we have finished the construction queue. Really? The whole cons- Really? That fast? My lord. The FC Madcat finds a disturbing triangle of technology hidden, uh, sorry, tangle of technology hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole. And science officer Masada quickly asserts that the asteroid is in the is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in un uncharted space, some light years away from a black hole, and small quantities of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned through the wormhole. Whoever set this up seems to have abandoned the operation. Fascinating, we've found dark matter. Okay, strategic resource discovered. The MC Madcat has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource, dubbed dark matter. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy several natural laws. It could potentially revolutionize the sciences. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future expansion purposes. Yes, okay. Well, we're going to definitely be expanding out in this direction no matter what happens, but that is very, very good. But we've got an Oboris. Honestly, with a name like that. Oh, I'm tempted just to uh, pop in. Well, we're going to go with Night Glen. That's a pretty good science ship name, I think. There you go. Right, what you out there exploring amongst the stars? Please and thank you. Let's get some uh, extra help out, out exploring in this direction. There we go. Future market survey complete. Marvelous. Very, very good. Now, it all comes down to if there are any trade materials on that side. Madcat, have you finished everything in there? You seem to have, so go ahead and survey a little bit more around. Getting lots of science ships out there early on seems to be a really, really good good move. Especially if, you, if you're if you pushing to get lots of uh, anomaly uh, discovery chance. Right. I'm going to want you to build me a research station right about there, please and thank you. Expanding out here soon is going to be a fairly complete. big, uh, fairly high importance. Have we finished all of the defenses now? Yes, we have. Glorious. Now, those defenses will actually affect your pirate suppression as well, I believe. Let's have a look at the starbase. Does it give me any details on the star starbase? Uh, pirate suppression, anything like that? No, it does not. How about you? Do you show me pirate suppression? It doesn't look like it. But if we head out and turn on the trade route As tab, our empire grows, trade between our planets will become an increasingly large part of our economy. Indeed, it will. Starbases with trade hubs collect trade value within their system to be routed to the capital for conversion to energy credits. Okay, building trade hubs means a starbase can collect trade value from adjacent systems as well. Rich trade routes may attract pirates, though they can be countered by fleets on patrol and by defense modules on starbases. Hangar modules are particularly effective at this. So if we have a look at these um, systems, this system has a trade protection value of 2, which guarantees that up to 2 trade value is protected from piracy. Uh, trade value of 2. This one has a trade value protection of 10, 
Base produ protection is two, but the star base Duke is providing eight. Uh, protection range. The star base has a protection range of zero. That means it's able to apply its trade protection to all systems within zero jumps. Ah. Is it perhaps by having the trade hub that I'd be able to push that out a little bit further? We're going to have to have a look into that because currently that means we are definitely going to have to have some sort of patrol around here. But we'll, we'll have a look into that at a later later time, I think. Once we've actually expanded out in this direction somewhat. Uh, at this point, I would like Duke Station to start building me some more ships, though. So, Upscaling complete. Let's have a look. First star order, what kind of ship balance have you got? Uh, let's go into the fleet manager. In the fleet manager, we can create templates for our military fleets. Indeed we can. As our fleets grow in size, these templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. We're going to rename first star order to uh, Yukofin. There we are, the Yukofin fleet. I would like an extra of both Zangiri and Ishim Gamer. Maybe push it a little bit higher as well. We'll take it up to, to 12 there. All right, we've got to have quite a lot. We can currently afford to reinforce one ship. Go ahead and do that then. And we'll continue to reinforce as we get the materials for it. Potential market survey completed. Okay, an abandoned ship was left drifting aimlessly above this Upscaling moon. The massive complete. sails protruding from its hull suggest that it re uh, relied on solar power to function. Sure, go ahead and market have a look at that one. Identified. Let's pause this. Uh, activity of the ancient precursor race. Ah, okay, leave B for now. In fact, no, go in there first. Leave B for now. That's a bit of a tricky one. So I'm going to have you... The last thing you do in there will be to research the anomalies. Don't worry about it until then. Uh, you have finished your job, okay. It looks like this is the place where we want the station then, because there's nothing much going on there. Ultimately, we are going to want to control that one. And depending on what we get down there, it might uh, change up quite a lot. But for now, uh, actually, leaving these places undiscovered might be a bit of a, a mistake. So we will have a look in them, but... Uh, with that, I think it's high time that you start expanding out. It's going to cost us a bunch of alloys, but that's going to bring us in three energy, some minerals, and a lot of trade value. We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Withira 3A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, it's not, not bad for us to have a little bit of extra engineering clout. Let's have a look at our current stored. A system yeah, has not too been bad. surveyed. Thank you. Uh, are you move? Oh, you're gonna finish checking that out first. Potential market survey. Moriarty completed. is currently helping. Mad Cat, you finished it. Excellent. Okay, you can continue on exploring them. I could set up a lot of stuff, but I'm, I'm liking being able to react to things, though energy, still quite bad. We're not going to be getting any more leaders anytime soon, unfortunate on that one. Uh, I'm going to save up my Research minerals activate. as well so that we can start getting the, uh, the energy credits pulled in quite quickly. We're going to be expanding. We know we're going to be expanding out to these three. Eventually, this one as well. That one is not much of, a, of, of, of anything for us. Uh, okay, you've gained a high level. Very nice. Survey speed, research speed, plus 6%. Let's have a look then. We've got the coil gun. Fantastic. Now, uh, we can unlock the production target edict. Uh, monthly minerals, plus 20%. That's quite nice. Uh, mineral purification plants. If you build one on a planet, then minerals from miners are plus 15%, and it gives one miner job. That's actually pretty good if you've got a very highly uh, focused plant that's doing a lot of minerals. Civilian fabricators, large industrial fabricators geared towards producing consumer goods. You'd need crystals to build it, build it though. It is a nice one, um, as is the Mega Forge. Again, we'd need volatile moats for this one. We could get carrier operations, which would allow us to build hangar bays for our, um, for our star bases, which would in turn help it would increase protection range. Ah, okay, so that's how you increase protection range. So we could just pop these onto defense platforms. Ooh. Oh, that that would be good because then we wouldn't need dedicated fleets to patrol our 
trade network. That's what we're going for. That That is too useful. Way too useful for me to not accept. For now, at the very least. Okay. Well, Upscaling complete. Ooh, fantastic. We have built the starbase over there. Excellent. Uh, over here, though, let's have a look at you. We, we're probably not going to upgrade this, I don't think. But we have got an ability. Research plus uh, reduce the upkeep by 20% or research station output. I mean, it's starting to get nice. Let's have a quick look. Got eight coming in from stations there, six from stations there, three from stations here. I think we're going to wait on that one a little bit longer because we've got so much more coming from jobs. And this will drop their upkeep. It might not be something we strictly need right now, but it will overall affect little bits of things. Uh, go ahead and research that. Okay, we're losing money once again. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, system surveyed. Okay. You are going to finish this off, I believe. Let's go ahead and build... Well, we'll just make sure that you build them in the right order. So first, I want this mining station, and then after that, this mining station. Now, you notice we aren't gathering this. And we won't be able to do that for a little while. Uh, for the time being, I would really like it if you guys would upgrade. I could call in reinforcements. No upgrades available, really. Small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Shulmak 4. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark the large deposit of precious metals. The mine it was meant, uh, miners it was meant for evidently never arrived. Uh, okay, that's actually not bad at all. Wow, okay, that, that system is pretty nice. Single badly scorched module is all that's left of a Cybrex research station that once orbited Pentarum seven hundreds of thousands of years ago the vacuum exposed insides of the module is filled with the dead remains of creatures that are part machine and part organic Ooh. situation log revised let's have a look at you uh let's have a look here module from research station orbiting blah, blah blah uh sure we've got a scientist in orbit research that was useful because if they expanded out there then uh, that would have been a bit of a problem for us uh okay now, we've got a couple of things that we want to do. Uh, you finished this, so go ahead and survey both of these systems for now. That one is now looking like a much more interesting one to take. We'll see if we do in the end, but uh, for the time being, it does seem like a nice one. We are going to want to upgrade this starport, though. So let's go ahead and set that one to upgrade right away. Furthermore, let's go in and check on our items. Now, they should be up auto upgrading hmm. curious ah they would run out of power if we did that okay well that's fine we can pop down a reactor booster down here and get fully upgraded there that seems reasonable we'll save that uh do you wish to overwrite the current design yes please mission gamer you don't need it so we're not going to worry about it and this visual corvette defense has already been upgraded. Excellent. Okay. I'm fairly certain that we should be able to get you to upgrade all of that. It would cost us a little bit more than, than we can afford right now. And it's going to take us a while to get up to that. How about our ships over here? 130. Yeah, it's going to take us a while. We'll be waiting on that one for now. But once we've hooked up to this trade value, that'll start filtering into the rest of the empire which will be important but we are going to have to set up a um, patrol route to protect this lane from pirates for the time being we've detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomena on the edge of the, the ushakaron system a rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through space uh, subspace to another wormhole located elsewhere in the galaxy, despite the fact that we've already come across a wormhole and, and seem to understand how it works. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessel foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. If it could be somehow stabilized. One day. But that is very interesting. That's a backdoor into our space, which I'm not amazingly happy with right now. Uh, continue complete. searching. 
There we are, we are done. Special project Ooh. actualized. Archaeological project complete. Analysis of the Cybrex research module we found above Pentarum 7 has revealed that the machine consciousness was experimenting with cybernetic life forms. Hundreds of unfortunate prisoners were transported to this facility for the purpose of having their limbs and organs replaced with various mechanical contraptions. The exact objective of these tests remains unclear. There is no evidence that the Cybrex was uh, ever made use of cybernetic use units outside of this lab. Uh, an interesting find, at the very least. Right, at this point... I'm more interested in, in exploring up here, so you come along and start surveying that system, please. It's a bit of a bit of a way for you, I know, but it has to happen. Now, as for you, encountered uh, Zoldior. We've encountered some form of alien vessel in the Zoldior system. These strange objects have been flagged as Epsilon aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Okay. Ooh, this is a potential. I have no idea. No idea. Alright. Well, we should uh, leave them be for now then, I guess. But this could mean that... Uh, yeah, this looks like it is actually another species. So let's immediately begin researching them. As for you, you are more than likely going to try and leave? We have discovered a primitive Apparently civilization. Not. Okay. Some would dismiss these aliens as little more than filthy savages. No, that's though. But there are those who see merit in studying their culture, such as it is. Okay, we've detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on the Ushkaron 3 in the Ushkaron system. They currently seem to be experiencing the equivalent of, an of a renaissance, having recently left the medieval age behind them. The scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly, and the armies of their petty kingdoms are equipped with crude gunpowder-based projectile weapons. We should consider building an observation post above the world to study them more closely. I think that is a grand plan, but it looks like uh, they're not going to attack me. That is, unless Future I move close and then they complete. decide to, like, you know, wallop me in the face several times. Uh, ooh. Really? Volatile moats? Can we acquire this? I don't think we can yet. I don't believe we have the means to acquire that yet. Requires dark matter refining. Yeah, requires moat stabilization technology. We're a long ways from being able to do that, but tempting in the extreme. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start expanding out in this direction next. We need to continue on grabbing all of these bits and bobs. Eval Station is almost there. We're going to rename Eval Station, though. This shall become uh, Vikamura Station. Upscaling it's going complete. to be a very important station, this one. Right in the center of a trade. A uh, bit of a trade nexus, in a way. Okay, let's have a look at you. Now, you can have uh, pieces added. We are currently collecting the trade goods, and they are being ferried. So now we can actually have a look at trade routes. We can see the route that they're taking is all the way through here. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no way that I can force them to take a different route. And that is a bit of a shame. But what we'll see is that this place here has got a trade value of 3. Max piracy, minus 0 0.75. Piracy effects, uh, current piracy, base protection, plus 2. Because trade value is greater than piracy suppression, current piracy will grow to its maximum value in 3,587 days. Uh, it'll probably be the same there, be the same there. We need a fleet now to patrol this route. I had hoped it would go this way, but that's fine as well. Uh, okay, so with that, Yuko Finn, I need you to patrol these systems. Now, you've got probably a fairly potent pirate suppression. Yeah, ridiculously potent pirate suppression, in fact. We do not need that kind of pirate suppression, but I'm not going to fuss, fuss around splitting them up for now. It's, it's the entirety of our fleet. I could split off just like... Honestly, one ship would have enough pirate suppression for that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um. Alright, split fleet. I do not need this many ships here. I would like to move... No, I don't want to transfer them all. I want to just transfer some of them. We'll have two Isham class. There, I think... That'll be fine. That being said, actually, let me move down a Zangiri class. We'll have just a Zangiri and an Isham class corvette in this little little group. 
Uh, I also want my admiral over here. There we go. There we are. So we've got the first star order. You shall be the eval. Oops, not typing properly. Uh, mm, I hope it's spelled with an A instead of an E. Ival Piracy Deterrent. There we go. I, I merged them, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, there we go. Right, we just click on patrol there, click on the destination system, sets up a patrol route, and they're just going to flash between them. They've got enough piracy suppression that they're easily going to be able to put down any kind of uh, potential piracy there. Research actualized. Uh, alas, Map of Stars is gone. Okay, well, we're going to have to get that one back up and running. Oh, there we go. Survey speed plus 25% and automatic exploration has been turned on. Now, I don't tend to make use of automatic exploration until much later. But, you know, we might look into it. Uh, research complexes. We can't build them yet. Improved deflectors wouldn't be too bad, though. Particle physics. So for the fusion reactor. Or we could get research station output increased. I wouldn't mind going for this one, honestly. But getting more power would be reasonable because we're already starting to start using our reactors to be able to get this. So... Let's go for that. Have we got any scientists who are good with particle physics? No. Could we recruit one? No. Okay, then you just carry on doing what you're doing. As is. And that'll be fine for us for now. Uh, we could eventually get you guys to upgrade. In fact, let's go ahead for that. And then you can head out. Let's get your power set up properly. Colony. This means Hooray! that if our homeworld were to spontaneously combust, your species would no longer be rendered extinct. That is a comforting thought, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I would say so, actually, yeah. Okay, Blue Rose Undertaking is complete. Let's go and have a look. Ooh, Neath has got employment. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Really, now? Well, we know what we can do there. We can also grow our population a bit. But if I did this, then we were gonna, we would be having some more issues with... Uh, We'd be using consumer goods to turn into unity and trade value. I mean, that would help out in power. Getting more unity is a good thing. It would give us extra manager jobs. Which would give them a bit of clout. I'm fairly certain that they would be up here in executives. I think. Executives do have fairly high requirements as far as their amenities go. But, hmm. Get some more resource silos, we'll give some clerk drops. That also increase the amount we could store. I don't think we need that, no. I think I'm really tempted to go for more research, honestly. It'll be a little while before we could afford it, though. And it costs so much to do. No, I, th I think ultimately it's either go for corporate culture suite. And I think we will. We'll, we'll get a corporate culture suite and that will help out there. But let's go and check on Blue Rose Undertakings. Now, in terms of the tile blockers, we can't clear any of those right now. So that's not something we're going to have to worry about. Um, at, for the time being, this place is pretty much doing as good as it could do. We could push some people Shit, over there if we really wanted to. But I don't think that's uh, a big uh, a big priority for us right now. Uh, let's get you patrolling there, please. All right, as for you guys, how much would it cost? Uh, 104. Well, you know what? Just just start it. Leaders request contact. Fantastic. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the Norilja Empire. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. Oh, that is unfortunate. They are in the way. Maybe we can go around them, though. Excellent. Okay, I speak on behalf of the Norilja Empire, and I come with a message for your depraved species. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Reglor I, with reverence, there may yet be peace between our nations. Uh, cooperation will surely benefit us all. After all, we can bring you tomorrow's solutions today. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first... What? 
Surely we encountered other ones. Uh, okay, it's spreading like wildfire throughout the Farrakhor Free Traders. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebration on Neath. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. This is a momentous occasion. It is also super confusing, though. Oh, damn it. They cut us off. Well, that is unfortunate. That's the direction I'd hoped to get up there. Okay. Doesn't seem that they've got any particular issues with us right now, though. Hmm. On that note, let's go ahead. Well, let me go through these first. So, uh, the piracy deterrent has been upgraded. Duke Starbase has finished his construction crew. Good. Uh, we finished building whatever it was we were building. Which was way... Ah, good, good. Now, once this station is properly upgraded, we'll be able to grab that, those trade goods as well. But for now, the main thing I want is to get this money. Please and thank you. And also the um, alloys. But this has now become a priority for us to get up there and close that little branch off. In fact, can you do that afterwards? No, we need a little bit more. But that won't won't be too, too hard for us to get. Good. Uh, we've finished... Uh, we've, we've automatically explored everything around here. Well, whilst they're not going to force us out, let's go and survey this system as quickly as we can. Uh, where are the science ships? I mean, if they're not going to be an issue. I don't think we can go through there, though. I'm not sure. Can we get over there? Seems that we can. They haven't They haven't kicked us out yet, and that's that's great. But now let's go and have a proper look at our contact. So, we've known you for a little while. How are you feeling about us? Their opinion, plus 10, minus 3 yearly. Xenophile diplomacy, bright materialists, egalitarian rabble. Okay, you know, they're equivalent to us. Uh, their fleet power is inferior. Uh, interference policy, minus 10. Xenophobia, minus 40. Egalitarian rabble, minus 10. Okay, that's going to be a hard one. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's you. Would you mind self-actualizing someone else? <laughs> really? Come on now. Um, I'm going to keep my borders open for the time being. Hmm. This may be a tricky one. To get a commercial pact, ugh, it's going to take a long time. As we gain the ability to create more wealth, then it'll get better. Trade value given, minus one. Distance, minus 36. Base is minus 50. Off a trade deal, perhaps? Let's see what we can do to try and uh, improve things. In terms of resources, your resources, information. I could trade communications. In return for your communications, sure. We can't trade star maps, though. It's a bit of a pain. I've got a lot of consumer goods. Let's try and increase this. Oh, they do want it. Okay. Uh, right now, I think I would like some energy credits. They want consumer goods a lot more than they want energy credits. Sure. Uh, you know what? Let, let's give them a decent deal. We'll, we'll trade 105 for 200. That'll give us a, a positive trade there. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's let's confirm this. Deal length in years, it's none. We're not going for a long deal. I'm just trying to grease the wheels, as it were. Okay. Uh, and while that's happening, let's see if we can't do exactly the same over here. Let's uh, offer a trade deal. Information. I could trade your communications. Before the others. Oh, they don't want to trade theirs. Well, maybe I won't trade yours then. Um, are you in need of consumer goods? Seems you are. How about minerals? Yeah, you don't want to trade minerals. How about energy? Oof. You're in a bit of a rough space, uh, space right now, aren't you? Either that, you just don't want to trade with me. Well, it could be. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'll give you a hundred consumer goods. That's fine. It doesn't doesn't even dent me. Let, let's give them a free sample of tomorrow's solutions. I think that is a very clever way to start off. We want to make friends. 
And there we are, the diplomatic response from the Norwegian Empire. This is hardly sufficient tribute, but we will take it. Oh, well, there's shush you. Uh, after much deliberation, High King Schönblur has decided to accept your trade proposal. Marvellous. I approve. Have we learned of anyone new? Let's have a look around. It doesn't look like we have. Uh, early Space Age. No, they're, they're the same player, people that we already know of. Uh, but that has actually really helped. Favorable trade deal. Plus two. Favorable trade deal. Plus ten. Minus two yearly. All right. We could pull them out of their, their little, little rut there by just giving them things that they really need, like consumer goods. That might be worth it. Just to push them to the point that they would allow us to get a branch office in there. Let's have a look around. How about you? In terms, uh, you're colonizing this planet, that's fine. Ah, such a shame. Well, yeah, it is kind of a shame. We need to get in there a little bit faster. Ooh, 13. Uh, no, I didn't want to talk to you, I wanted to look at your planet. Corporate. We're nowhere near the kind of energy we'd need. But that would be good. And uh, what about you over here? You've got... Uh, you're expanding out right now, you've got... Two new uh, new colonies on the go. Bit of a bigger empire than ours, unfortunately. But it's the way it's going to be. Ooh. They're forced out. Okay, well, that's that's fine. So they've closed their borders. We've allowed you to move freely in our territory for too long. Today, we draw the line. Well, I'm not going to close my borders yet. I want to try and foster good relations with them. If I have to pay for that, then uh, it'll be worth it once I can get some branch offices on their planet. But I might want to push that more right now, just to just to enforce it and get that done. And then once they're there, I think the only way they can get rid of it is that they go to war with me, which might be a step too far. Might be more than they're willing to do initially. Uh, Yucca Finland's been fully upgraded. Hooray! And the construction over at the Duke Station is complete. Perfect. Can we expand out? Not yet. Need a few more. It'll happen soon. All right, if we have a look at the piracy around here, it should be constantly being pushed down. We can see how the current piracy is, go uh, piracy is going. We'll see. Once you move in, which, depending on which Upscaling direction you move in. Complete. There we go. Piracy is completely surprised. Perfect. And it'll keep on going. All right. Now, what we want over here, the first thing we want to do is to build a trade hub. This will get our collection range up. It'll cost us 50 alloys. We're going to wait because I want to I want to collect this system first. There's a little part of me that wants this system as well because a nebula like that is particularly nice. I jump into that system. There you go. A neutron star, by the way. Mind you, there's not much else going on in that, that area. It's just gas giants, so it's Really? Do I really want to push in there? I'm not sure I do, thinking about it. I do want the Dark Matter, and I want the Moat. So we're probably going to collect everything around here, including this. But we just won't push in there, or we might just end it here. They won't be able to expand into this area, especially if we close our borders, which we will eventually do, I'm sure, but uh, for the time being. Right. Okay. FC uh, Zarmat. Let's move you on. Well, it looks like we need to start rapidly exploring out in this direction, then. That's really all we can do. Mad Cat. Let's get you out there as well. You can go ahead and jump forward a little bit over towards that black hole. Uh, just need a tiny bit more Research alloys. Ooh, there we go. Off-world trading company complete. Marvellous. Right, let's have a look here. We could get some better food. Farmers will just make more food. That would be useful. Uh, pop growth speed naturally being 10% higher would be very nice. Leader pool size and leader cost. Hmm. I'm not sure that that reduces their upkeep, though. Hmm. No, we're going to go with pop growth. Furthermore, let's have a look at edicts. Currently got research grants active. Uh, map the stars, I think, should be active. Land of Opportunity, Immigration Pull, and Pop Growth from Immigration. 
Trust growth plus 50% and trade attractiveness plus 10%. This edict initia initiates a diplomatic offensive in a concerted effort to improve the image of our empire in the eyes of others. Yes, we absolutely want that right now. And then also map the stars. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful, in fact. All right, with that done, we should be able to uh, expand out a little bit more. Once we've collected this area, then we can stop worrying so much about their expansion over here. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Duke Station. Can I upgrade you? It's, well, actually, it's going to cost me a lot. Uh, oh, wait. It isn't something we need to do right away. As far as over here, we do want the trade hub. So as soon as we've got that 50 alloys, we'll get the trade hub. And at that point, we'll be pulling in the trade from over here as well, which would be glorious for us. Let's go ahead and get that done. If we want to build an off-world trading colony, we can, which will increase the trade value that we get. Uh, target uplink, we don't really need these right now. A resource silo might not be a terrible idea, but honestly, I don't think it would really help us. So it'll probably be an off-world trading company that we go for. On this particular station. This is by and large just a pure trade Upscaling station. Complete. There we are. I would like you to get down Potential here now. Market survey completed. Perfect. And with that then, let's get you out here surveying these systems. There we are. We've got a lot to expand it into over there. Uh, it's going to be a challenging one. I'm going to leave that be for now. We'll come back to it. I want to do a little bit more exploration right now than anything else. Complete. Well done. There we go. You notice we've already collected the trade value over there. It's now being collected. Now we're pushing a lot more trade value through this trade route as a result. For example, max piracy is now minus 2.25. And we're pushing nine units of trade value through there. Yeah. Uh, so it'll now get a lot worse much, much faster. What we could do instead, where's our Ivan Parisi deterrent? How about you head there, and from there, only tr patrol these routes, because these ones are protected by the stations themselves. Though once we get some hangars there, that'll be a massive help for us. That's what we're going to aim for if we can. An odd factor. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Blue Rose Undertakings. The building and its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excels at constructing things that stood the test of time. A population would easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. Fantastic! Adds Odd Factory. Hmm, let's go ahead and have a look at this. Odd Factory. What is it? Okay. Rare planetary item, Odd Factory. A well-crafted facility that produces high-value resources left on the planet by a different civilization. It's got an odd factory job. Oh, I love these little things. So let's have a look at you. Uh, this will produ Wow! Produces four? You get. There are one free odd factory worker jobs on this planet. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to push your growth. We're going to drop a thousand into it. Yes, go for it. That has pulled our food down massively, but uh, it'll be worth it. We are going to probably, thinking about that, want to build a farm area, but for now, it'll be okay. Upscaling complete. Excellent. All right, let's get you over there to grab this Outlier space station. Identified. Uh, ignore that one for now. Don't go for it because it is a little bit too difficult. Uh, that being Future said, survey complete. Moriarty, could I bring you along? I could send Moriarty to go and have a look at that. Let me have a quick look. At... Mm, you know what? We've got a lot of ships going through here. How about you research this anomaly? And then we'll have, have the rear science ship just Future pass through trying to complete. work out, uh, trying to investigate the anomalies as they go. I think that would be fine. There we are. We should be reducing piracy in this area reasonably well. Oh, Math Machine, are you not able to get to that anomaly? Oh, perhaps they're already researching it. In that case, go for this one. There we are. How are we doing down here? Should be expanded out soon. That is bringing in a decent amount of income now. And there we go. Data uplinks. Fantastic. Now we get our first ascension. The ascension perks list shows the ascension perks that we can potentially unlock. 
Some Ascension perks may have special requirements, like technologies, or having a certain number of already unlocked Ascension perk slots. Indeed. Okay. We can get up for the Interstellar Dominion. A lot of these are going to be typical uh, from the base game, but we are going to have a couple that are based on our um, specific edicts, uh, sorry, our, our current governance, the fact that we're xenophobe or xenophile, etc, etc, and obviously some that are specific to megacorps. Uh, technological Ascendancy is one that I usually go for first, simply because that early research speed is really important. We've got Mastery of Nature, uh, Executive Vigor, Edict Duration plus 50%. There will be no half measures or compromises when implementing the edicts de decided upon by our government. We go all the way, or not at all. I like it, go big or go home. Hmm. Just Transcendent Learning, Better Leadership, Universal Transactions. Branch office cost minus 15% and commercial packs no longer cost influence to maintain. Ooh. We shall expand our brands and our business to every solar system in the galaxy. Greed is eternal. That does sound quite nice. Uh, let's have a look at a couple of the others that might be there. Uh, Trend the Galaxy. Voidborn. Nothing. Oh, the Arcology Project. Xeno Compatibility. Ah. Being able to make sweet, sweet love to space slugs. Uh, let's pause things there for a second, though. We've got that point to take. I want to go in and have a quick look before we make a decision there. I have no idea how much it would cost to maintain a branch office. It's a problem. Cost is becoming much easier for us now. But let's go and have, have a look at our contacts. Oh, that's gone much worse. Our rival. They've... Why have you declared rival on us? Oh, you scallywags. Okay, well, I might need to uh, crush you then. Um... I'd rather not. But... Maybe I could force them to accept a branch of... That's, that's a thing. Maybe we could... could Force them to allow us to to put branch office on their worlds. Uh, particularly aggressive forms of uh, of expansion. Uh, the problem is the uh, you're a xenophobe. I don't think this is ever really going to work out for us. So we're just going to go ahead and declare you a rival and uh, leave it at that. Uh, right, they, they declared rivalry, and that's why the borders were closed. I I hadn't paid enough attention to that. That's a bit of a shame. All right. Well, that's just the way it's going to be, then. I'm not going to worry too much about you. However, you... Maybe. Commercial pack, still pretty hard for us to get. I'm really tempted to try out that new... That new... Um, essential pick, but... No, I, I think we're going to continue pushing for technology more than anything else. But the next one will probably be that. But whilst we're here, we're going to go ahead and uh, offer a trade deal. We'll do a little bit more trading for consumer goods. Let's pop quite a lot there. 400 consumer goods. Um, you will never give that to us. What will you give? Mm, reasonable amount, actually. I could get a chunk of minerals if I really wanted it. I don't think I do right now. What I would like is food if we can get it from you. Yeah, reasonable amount. That would at least give us a little bit of a buffer. Maybe some energy credits as well. Yeah, okay. I'll give you a bunch of consumer goods for now. There we go. I'm fine with that. If we can, we can make an ally of you, that would be fantastic. I'd be very happy with it. Outlier identified. Okay, we've got something we can research. It's only routine, so sure, go ahead with that one. Gained a level up. And there we are. The Fino Enlightened Kingdom has decided to accept your trade proposal. Marvellous. Let's go and have a look at how that's affected our contact with you. Oh, that's very good. That's looking much, much nicer. Saved crew. Hmm. Saved crew? What have we done? I... What? I have no idea what we did, but I'm glad that you liked it. At the very least. 
How far away? We've got to push a lot harder to get this. All right. Well, I'm willing to dump a lot of money into that, but not not just yet because it's going to cost a lot of money and a lot of influence to, to set things up. Let's try and expand out a little bit more before we get to that point. But I think possibly right now, let's have a look at our research. Where are we? We sat with research. 13 months in 10 months. Okay, I'm going to wait for these two to finish. And then once we've got those, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our fleet and expand our fleet a little bit more. In fact, I might expand our fleet right now. We could do with a little bit more. So sure. Let's see what we can do. We've got enough for, for one ship. So let's get an Isham class vessel added to the queue. But that's where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode, I'm afraid, with... Uh, Another anomaly. It's an easy one, so we'll go ahead and research that one first. But that's going to be it. We have made our first first enemy, but we're on our way to making our first friend, our proper a proper friend who's actually got like friendly alliances and all of that good stuff. We'll see how that goes in the next episode, but uh, that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care.